In examining the spleen, unlike the liver, the spleen, I think, is a tricky organ to percuss. The liver tends to come down flush with the costal margin like this, whereas the spleen comes away from the costal margin, doesn't usually have a distinct edge, and is generally softer and less distinct than the liver. And therefore, I think technique is very important in examining the spleen. The spleen enlarges in this direction towards the right lower quadrant, and it's very embarrassing to miss a spleen because you started so high. So I would suggest starting over here in the right lower quadrant and working your way up. The most important dictum, though, in examining the spleen is uh, to let the spleen palpate your fingers and not the other way around. So once you get your hands set, have the patient take a deep breath. Would you take a deep breath? And when he breathes out, I take up my next position. Deep breath. Out. And this way, if the spleen is there and your fingers are not moving, you have a good chance of it coming and brushing your fingers. I always think it's hard. If you're moving like this and the spleen's moving, it's very unlikely that these two ships will cross in the night. Uh, very often people are instructed to pull up on the rib cage like so. I don't really understand the utility of that. I don't think it really helps. My suggestion is begin in the right lower quadrant. Once you get your fingers in position, have the patient's diaphragm do the work for you. Let the spleen palpate your fingers and not the other way around. Don't dig because there is no gold. Having said that, uh, Dr. Rosenberg here, an eminent uh, uh, oncologist with lots of experience with Hodgkin's, teaches also that if the spleen's not palpable, you can actually dig your hand in there, have the patient take a deep breath. And in some patients, especially women, he feels you can feel the splenic tip, even though it may not be uh, appreciable by any other method. Percussion of the spleen is not exact. It's not, a, uh, uh, it's not something that you can absolutely rely on. It might give you a hint that the spleen is enlarged. The way to percuss is to follow the anterior axillary line down to the last intercostal space. And that last intercostal space should normally be tympanic or tympanitic because that's trop space. And when the patient takes a deep breath, if it becomes dull, it suggests that the spleen might be enlarged. And you can hear it changing note a little bit there. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.